Hi, it's Laura here with LB's Gorns and Blossoms, and welcome to today's video. So, this is another video that I didn't get a chance to upload. Right, so the first thing I do when I come to this job is I have a walk around, and I usually have a chat with the client also because she usually sees me through the window, so she always comes out and has a bit of a natter. I then get my mower out and I start mowing the grass. I do stream up along this fence in this hedge that you can see, uh, but with the grass not being that long, uh, I didn't bother filming it. This particular job is different from the other usual jobs, only in the way that I come more often. So the client likes this garden to always look nice and tidy, so I tend to come every week and cut the grass here, and that's why the grass isn't that long. And each time I come, the client likes to tell me how many comments she's had on this garden. So because it's on a main road and there's a school nearby, so whenever people walk past picking the kids up, if she's out and about in the garden, they always comment saying how nice the garden looks. So that's nice to hear. Now that I've finished cutting the front lawn, I get me edging shears out and I start edging it. Now that I've finished edging this front lawn, I'll go around with my trowel and my claw, just pick up any little bits of weeds that there may be in the soil and also rake over. This adds some aeration to the soil and it also makes the garden look great when it's finished. When I did my walk around of the garden I noticed that these two shrubs needed trimming so I got me shears and I gave them a quick trim. Then I did the wonderful job of having to pick it all up, especially out of the gravel. <laughs> And then I'll leave glue the remainder away. Okay, 
piece of this Aubrey Shahi, it's finished flowering. So what you do when it's hanging over a wall like this, you cut it back. So this is hanging all over here. So we've cut it back up to the, pretty much the top of the wall. And the same on this side, it's hanging over. So we've cut it back up to the wall. And that way, next year, it'll obviously grow over and then it'll have a lot, the flowers will be a lot better, better on it. Okay, so that's those two shrubs trimmed. I'll trim them before I've cut the lawn, just so all the bits I can leaf blow onto the lawn and then pick them up with the mower. Oh, if I sound like I'm losing my voice or whatnot, <clears throat> it's because, uh, have you ever had that where uh, you can go days? Everyone likes to come out and speak to me, so I've not stopped talking. <laughs> anyway, back to where I was. I have to be very careful with this garden, because as you can see, it's quite literally, the garden is sliding down the valley that's behind here, I'll show you. It was all level at one point. That gap, can you see? I don't know if it picks it up on camera, but it's a massive gap. Fortunately, now it's working its way up to the top of this garden. And as you can see, this wall, it's all sliding away. Even the fence panels, they were all level and straight, but they're all slanting away. Even this lawn here, look at this. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a shame, really. But this got this lawn here, this was level. So you see that top bit? It was all that level. Look how much it sunk. If I look over here, I always check over here just to make sure everything's still starting, which it is, but ugh, I don't know, it's sliding down from underneath. Even the conifers are struggling, they're sliding away. Even these flags over here are sliding downhill. I don't know if you can see over here, can't really see because it's too green, but right down there, there's a stream right at the bottom of there. It goes way, way, way down there, and that's what's happening. The garden's quite literally sliding down into there. It's not a lot she can do, really. Not a lot. Or if there is, it'll cost a fortune. It's a shame, really, because it's a nice garden. But each year, when we when I come each year, so I, I usually finish um, gardening sort of November time, sometimes in December, depending on what the weather's like, if it's mild. I come back in probably February, March, April, it all depends on the weather. When I come back, it's... It's, it's gone down even more, so such a shame. Look at that gaff in there. Yeah. Mm, this used to be one level. Now it's really awkward to cut, as you can imagine. <laughs> right, I'll carry on. I've got to cut the grass. The next thing I did around this back garden was I gave it a trim first, just around where the walls are, and then I got my mower out again and came and cut the grass. Once I cut the grass, I got the edging shears out and edged the lawn. I also alternated between edging the lawn and then picking it back up. However, here I just put all the edging of the lawn clips together and then all the picking up of the clippies, that's also together. Once I've edged the lawn, then I go back round with the claw and I pick up all the clippings and pick out any weeds that I may find. Like I say, this aerates the soil and it also makes the garden look great when it's finished. It makes it stand out more.
Now that I've raked through the soil, I then go through with the leaf blower, just give it a final tidy around, and then I go and have a chat with the client, pack up, and then I head to my next job. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. Here's some before and after photos. You'll also see some photos of some bedding plants that I planted for the client, and also a couple of pots that I also made up for her. And these are all using the bedding plants that I grew out of my greenhouse. And with a bit of aftercare, each time I came, I would give them a feed. They look great. Again, thank you for watching. Hope to see you for the next one. Take care. Bye.